This weekend we're going to explore the amazing city Oxford. Yes, and we are currently in the gorgeous Oxfordshire countryside in the village Minster Lovell. Yes, it's so lovely here and we also found a wonderful place to stay. Yes. This is Old Swan Oxford and it's a quite essentially English country in from the 15th century. I think it looks so quaint and picturesque and well, you can stay in the inn itself. It has 15 rooms and we couldn't believe it. They upgraded us and we were staying in this lovely little cottage called Swan Cottage. And you can see there's a lot of water. We had so much rain here in the UK with flooding. Yeah, but now luckily it's dry. So the village here is called Minster Lovell. It's very lovely. You can see thatched cottages. We will film it some more for you and have a little wander around. So we're staying here at the Swan Cottage, which belongs to the inn, Old Swan. You can see it's right next to the cottage. So this is actually for six people and we were so surprised that we can stay here. I just give you a quick look before we leave for Oxford. So you're just enjoying a coffee before we leave. As you can see, we have a, well, I don't know, not a kitchenette because you can't cook here, but a tea and coffee station slash mm. seating area. In the evening, you can sit here having a fire because we have a stove. We used it last night. It was quite cosy and because it's winter, I'm pretty sure we will use it again tonight. We're staying upstairs in the so-called suite. I think the sun might come out. That would be amazing. So, this is the bedroom we chose. Quite spacious. The reason why we chose this place is it has such a great location. It's only 15 miles to Oxford and at the same time you are in the heart of the Oxfordshire countryside so you can explore all the beautiful and picturesque Cotswolds villages. So if you haven't been in the Cotswolds, I think this is a great base. I remember we tried to stay here last year but it was summer so all rooms were taken and because we are in the middle of winter we were a bit more lucky this time. Okay so that's the bedroom and a big bathroom is next door. As you can see and let me try to switch on the light. I think um, yeah, you can hear the fan, but I think it should be all right. And we also have a little garden. Let's have a look. So, this is the garden. Well, it's January, so you can't really sit outside. But I love the bird song. Although it's just January, you can see and hear the birds. It's lovely. That's the back of the cottage and just imagine in warmer weather sitting here sipping a tea, what could be better?
Yes, finally, and we are so lucky with the weather. It's really cold, but very nice. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I just love the old buildings. Yes, I think it's our third time here, and we love Oxford because I don't know all the golden buildings, the towers and spires. Yes, and you can just sense, yeah, knowledge. You can sense some spirit. You can yes. sense, yeah. It just it would inspire me now to sit here and read. That's very true. We're standing opposite Ratcliffe ca Camera, so we'll show you. This is the so-called Ratcliffe Camera, one of the iconic or the iconic landmarks here in Oxford, and it's part of the Bodleian Library. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now we're going to take a tour of the amazing Bodleian Library, which is one of the oldest libraries in Europe. It was founded in 1602. Sadly, I think we can only film in one room, but we are allowed to take pictures in the other room. So this is what we do, and I can't wait. We started the tour in the so-called Divinity School, Oxford University's oldest teaching room designed between 1423 and 1488. This is what it looks like from the outside. It was also used in some of the Harry Potter films. You can see it as Hogwarts Infirmary in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This is Duke Humphrey's library and the oldest reading room in the Bodleian Library. It was founded in 1447 by Humphrey of Lancaster, first Duke of Gloucester, and it's simply breathtaking. Of course, Duke Humphrey's library was the perfect filming location for Harry Potter. In here, Harry was looking for answers in the restricted section. Now we've just been on a 60 minute tour of Botlian Library. And I can just say it's amazing. Yes, so should you, come, should you come to Oxford, put that on your list. Yes, and you can sense the history and the smell of the old oh, books yes. and everything. It's yes. just uh, one of a kind. <laughs> so we were only allowed to film in one room and we took some photos in the other rooms. Yes. Yeah. Can you... Uh, I, I can't forget the feeling once he opened the door to the Duke Humphreys Library. You could just the smell of the books. Yes. The old books. Incredible. Yeah, it's something. Love that I part of the Harry Potter films were shot at Botley yes, Library. Yes, and we just watched all of them. Yes. Again, how many times did we watch them? I mean, it's for third or fourth time. Yes, it has become a tradition for us to rewatch them every Christmas. Yes. It's so nice. Yes, and. Yeah, you could sense when you enter the rooms, you think, oh, I've seen that. Yes. I've oh, already seen that. And then yes. you think, yeah, it's Harry Potter. Yes. And Lewis. Yeah. All the, I don't know if you, what what did he say, the tour guide? Oxford is the crime city. The capital. The capital. capital. Of crime. Yes. Yeah, because of Endeavour, Morse and Lewis. Yes. And I don't know, so many films are shot here, yes. but I, I do get that because the buildings are just amazing. Yeah.
This is such a fun and quirky alley in the middle of Oxford. You would think you are in a very tiny town in the countryside. So as you can see, there's a 17th century hotel. I need to check that out online. So we're here in the Western Library. This is also where you buy the tickets. I hope you can even hear me. This is where you can buy the tickets for the Botnian Library Tour. And we just came here for a break because they also have a cafe. Coconut and chocolate. Coconut, uh, Coconut and chocolate. Okay, a slice. Yeah. <laughs> Hot chocolate. Also for me, and this is well, that was the only uh, gluten nutty, free. A nutty brownie. A, nu a nutted brownie. Not as nutty as me. No, <laughs> it's nutty, not naughty. Well, I can be nutty too. Naughty and nutty. <laughs> Look, we just came across this. Um, this is by paper artist Justin Rowe. Sculptures in small domes. And wow. well, these are books or, or pages, pages yeah. out of books. Beautiful. Yeah. That should be Alice in Wonderland. Yes, you can see the cat and the trees. It's gorgeous. See, these large ones are 300 pounds. Yeah. I love this because there's a little bit of color. That's beautiful. Little, little red riding hood, isn't it? Yep. Gorgeous. Dobby, the house elf. Lots of Harry Potter things here in the shops. Yeah. I do like the the sweatshirts and hoodies. Yeah. That's ridiculous, yeah, isn't it's it? It's funny. It's very funny. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get over it. It makes me laugh so much. <laughs> We're back at the Old Swan, freshened up a little bit. Are about to leave the cottage. As you can see, you have made a fire. It's so chilly outside, but I must say today was amazing because when we checked the weather forecast, it said it would be a very gray and dull day, but the sun came out a little bit and it was amazing. I think we might be lucky tomorrow as well, so fingers crossed that would be so great. What we will do now is we're going to have dinner at what, what we didn't tell you this morning. So Alt Swan actually has a sister hotel right opposite called Minster Mill. I think the rooms are a little bit more sleek and contemporary, but they have a restaurant, a bar, even a, a spa. So we're going to try dinner there tonight. I don't know, it might be because it's Saturday, it might be pretty busy. I hope we can film our dinner, just a little glimpse, but we will see, we'll, we'll try our best. Yeah, are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> Did you check the menu? No. No, me neither, so I have no idea. So last night we had dinner at Alt Swan, but it was a little bit too dark, we couldn't film. We both had pie and it was lovely, so I don't know what to expect today. We'll see. Let's go there. So here we are. It's a one minute walk. Minster Mill. And this is the entrance. So let's, let's check it out. Let's have a look. Now, that's our starter, which is smoked peanut cauliflower. I got the gluten-free version. And this one is the regular one. Yes, so Jörg has the same starter. It smells delicious, mm. I must say. Ready for your main? Yes. <laughs> 
now that's a a burger called well this is Minster Mill and that's a mill burger <laughs> and mine so they made gluten free pasta and there's a bit of pork in it it looks absolutely incredible I think and they are so kind because they especially made the gluten free pasta Good morning. Good morning. It's eight o'clock. Okay. Let's start the day. want to show you the Minster Mill Hotel here in the morning because last night it was so dark so that's Minster Mill and opposite you've got the Old Swan so that's the River Windrush and you can clearly see how much rain we had it carries so much water all of this is nestled so the hotel is nestled in huge grounds I think it must be amazing in spring and summertime ha, it's a cold morning we have a tiny bit of rain but I can see the Sun so what we're doing this morning in Oxford is we're going to St. Mary's Church up the town because you have an amazing view so, that's St. Mary's Church. it up the tower and it's really worth it you really have to squeeze in here because that's all the space you've got but it's so worth it isn't this absolutely beautiful my goodness I can't believe how lucky we are today We are lucky. With the weather? Yes. Yes. And the view was absolutely amazing. And, but one thing, 
you yeah. shouldn't be afraid of um, small spaces. Yes. Because it's so tight. It's very narrow. It, yeah, it, yeah, narrow. <laughs> I was going to narrow. say, it's very narrow, but it's beautiful. Yeah. My goodness. I love the view from up there. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy a tea or a, a coffee, something? Yeah. This street here in Oxford is so beautiful. It's called Merton Street. Absolutely picture perfect with cobblestones and gorgeous buildings. This is Magdalen College where Oscar Wilde studied classical literature. So we came to a patisserie called Saint Claude de Baltimore. It's a French patisserie, of course. Now, what's that? Do you remember the name? It's no. some sort of puff pastry. Yes. I don't know. Um, hang on. Okay, we just got our uh, coffees. Um, well, it's some sort of puff pastry. Yes. We, oh, okay, there was some, some sort of mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Accidentally seem to have ordered two pieces. That's Africa. Yeah. What's this? I think it's vanilla with lemon. Vanilla with it's lemon? With... <laughs> well, I'll it try. looks good. It looks good. Yeah. And uh, this is a slice with um, almonds. It's actually flourless. It looks really good. And then a, um, an Americano and a cappuccino. Yeah. Okay. See, it is cheese. Oh wow. So is this. This is so nice. Mm. This is heavenly, so we can definitely recommend this place. It's good. <laughs> this is the place here on High Street and you actually spotted it. We just went inside and it was amazing. <laughs> so good. Oh, that's what you had. Yeah, carré apricot. Oh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're now at Christ Church College and we booked a self-guided tour. This college was founded in 1546 by King Henry VIII. <laughs> and there are some great things to see. So we went here four years ago, but we wanted to film it for our YouTube channel. So okay, we can start. We got headsets, information, and we book the tickets online. And now, let's have a look. Wow, these are great earmuffs. <laughs> it's so cold. So, Christ Church is one of the largest colleges here in Oxford. These are the famous hall stairs and 
if you are a fan of Harry Potter, you will recognize this place instantly because this was where Harry was welcomed into Hogwarts by Professor McGonagall. Okay, this is the great hall where the students eat. Isn't this wonderful? And just like in Hogwarts, I think this was the inspiration for the great hall at <laughs> Hogwarts. Like the big table at the far end is for senior members of the college, so the staff. Oh, see. There are open fires and it's so warm and cosy in here. Lots of portraits and as you can see, there's Henry VIII. Well, when they all eat in, in here, yes, that's noisy. true, that's true. Yeah, it must be, wow, but, I don't know, but I just love the atmosphere, the, the light and the cosy fires. Such a historic building, it's beautiful. This is the so-called Tom Quad and it's the largest squad in Oxford and as you can see, the heart of Christchurch College. So Christchurch College isn't only a college, it also has a cathedral, it's actually the seat of the Bishop of Oxford. This is the Peckwater Quad and it houses the library and lots of rooms. Stunning. So this was actually designed for gentlemen and nobles. <laughs> well, what can I say? <laughs> you can see it. It's definitely magnificent and beautiful. But we just studied at regular universities in Germany. I wish Dusseldorf University would look like this, but it's very modern. Look, it's, <laughs> Hang on. It's not the thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's not the building, it's the quality. It's yourself. You're not the allowed. The books you read. The books you read, of course. Yeah. Well. Here it's, here it's more about the party you go to. <laughs> I would think so, yes. I bet parties here are quite strong. That was nice, wasn't it? It was lovely. But it's getting very cold now. This was our weekend in Oxford. There's so much more to see, but we ran out of time. Yes, but I would have loved to study in Oxford. Me too. Which college would you have picked? Yorks College on the subject of life's happiness. <laughs> so there are 38 colleges, I believe. Of course, we don't know all of them, but Yerkes College. Yeah, when was good. it founded? Oh, not long ago. <laughs> so it's contemporary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will attend. It sounds quite tempting. No, it's a one-man college only. Oh, that's no. not fair. <laughs> yes, but that's life. So we hope you like this video. Again, thank you so much for watching and as always, we'll see you again very soon. So, 
Fine. <laughs> Until next time. Fine. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>